This may be the best day of the week to get outside and rake up those leaves. Yeah, but what do you do with all those bags of leaves once you've packed them up? Nicole Masinsic live downtown with more on a free service that begins today. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Julian Bruce. You know, we've got a solution for you. A lot of the leaves have fallen down, but many are still just trying to hang on to the trees for that last taste of warmer weather we have today. Chuck's talking about, but if many of them are on the ground, today is the day to rake them up and then you can start putting them out on the curb as the Department of Public Works will start picking up those leaves today. So you can just leave them out with your trash. An average of 4,000 tons of leaves are collected in the four week season each year. DPW offers the free service in part to discourage burning, which is not only bad for the environment, harmful to those with asthma and those that are older, but also against city ordinances. It is illegal to burn leaves in Marion County. So how do you get rid of them? Well, you can leave out up to 40 bags of leaves on your normal trash day by 7 a.m. and DPW will pick them up with the regular trash. But they do have some tips to make it easier on you and the trash collectors. If you have a cart, one of the major rules that we like to remind people of is to make sure you leave at least three feet of space between your bags of leaves and your trash cart so that our trucks can get in there and pick them up with the automated arms and, and that kind of thing. But that's, that's really it. You can leave up to 40 bags. You can use plastic bags. You can use regular paper lawn bags and up to 40 bags per week. Now, 40 bags per week per household, that's a lot of leaves. So what actually happens to them? Well, most of them are composted at the city's south side landfill. The free service starts today and runs through December 5th. And here's something else to think about as you're raking those leaves, especially with the rain in the forecast tomorrow. Make sure that you clear those storm drains especially well. So once we do have that heavy rain, we aren't going to see flooding on your neighborhood and even city streets. Bruce, Julia and Chuck. All right, Nicole, thanks very much.